Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.club. We're at my demo site, demonstration site. This is not the live site. I just use this to do my video tutorials. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to implement, how to use H1, H2, and H3 tags, why you want to use them, and how they can help your SEO. It's as simple as that. Okay, so just a regular old you know, blog here. I'm going to click on this blog post, Find Fun at Beaches. I'm going to scroll down this slowly. And you can see, you know, it's all kind of bland, right? Nothing really stands out except that great ad right there, if I say so myself. Okay, so what we want to do is make these into H2 tags, head tags, so they stand out and it will make your page easier to read. Okay, so I'm going to click here and I've already logged in. This is the same website. I've already logged into the dashboard. This is the blog post that we were just looking at right here. So here's the title, Find Fun and Beaches in South Florida, right up here. Okay, there it is. That has an H1 tag automatically. When you make it the title of a page like that, it automatically has an H1 tag around it. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a few minutes. An H1 tag is a HTML tag. Now, that is true for most themes. If you're not sure, you need to check the page source code. I will show you how to do that at the end of this video, how to make sure that your theme does indeed h1 tags around the title. Now you only want to use one h1 tag per page, so you don't want to use the h1 tag again. So let's add some h2 tags. I'm going to go to text. I think that tab should be called code because that's where you put the code, but it's called text, okay? Um, let's just go here. That's just the white space at the top. Now, how to have some fun in South Florida. There's no tags. There's no HTML tags around it. There's no H2 tags around it. So I'm going to go back to visual and I'm going to show you how easy it is. I'm going to go there. You're going to click down here to toggle the toolbar. Make sure you've got two levels on the toolbar. And where it says paragraph, you're going to use the drop down and you're going to choose H2. You really should never be using H1 in the content area of the page, which is where we are now. So we're going to make it H2. It has a preset size, font, family, all that stuff. It's still aligned to the left. Not a problem. We can fix that in a second. I'm going back to the text tab up here. Click. And you can see now this text has the, it's wrapped in an H2. Opening H2 tag here closing h2 tag here. That's a header tag. It's HTML code. I'm going to go back to visual. I'm going to highlight this again. And now I'm going to center that to make it stand out a little more. We go to text. And what the program did automatically is add this, what is called CSS code, and it aligns it to the center. It's as simple as that. So we're going to do that for everything else. And we're going to do that for the rest of these sections. So I'm going to make that H2. So you can see how to have fun in South Florida is a section. And then we're going to list some sections under it, which could be sport fishing and Key West. I'm going to make these H2. In theory, maybe I could use H3. We'll go into detail on that in a minute. I'm going to use H2. Um, and I'm going to center them. Part of the reason you're adding the H2 tags is to make it easier to read for your visitors who typically just scan a page. And part of the reason you're doing it is to help your SEO. Most popular beaches. Okay, so this, I'm going to call this a H2. And I'm going to have that be a section unto itself. So this is the head of a section, H2 tag, head of all of what's below it. But I'm going to have these subsections, which are the names of the beaches, and a little writing about each beach. So for the subsections, I'm going to use the H3 tag. I'm not going to center them. You don't need to center it every time. You can or you cannot. It's up to you. And we can add more favorite beaches. H3. Um, once again, let's just look at the code. 
uh, let's there's the h3 tag okay now the reason these tags once again are important is because well I'll show you in a second so let's just click update a quick review and the significance in terms of SEO h1 tag here I'll show you how to get the uh, source code in a minute I need to hit refresh hello and there you go now it's much easier to read because you everything is built into sections now here's the important thing Google knows if you put it gives h1 tags anything in between any text in between h1 tags it's going to carry more weight than just text within a paragraph I understand this is Latin text but this is just for demonstration purposes only so things like beaches and South Florida that's gonna carry weight Google says that's what this page is about h2 tags let Google know that's what these sections about if you're dedicating a whole section to how to have fun in South Florida or most popular beaches in South Florida then those sections must be important in and of themselves so what you want to do you do want to add some keywords in here in between h2 tag however please don't get obsessive don't stuff in between the h2 tags with keywords because Google has been around a long time they're gonna catch on they don't like it they know what's going on just make it human readable and you're going to help yourself by adding some keywords sometimes the head of a section just doesn't include keywords but it still makes sense to add an h2 or an h3 tag um, these just are h3 tags so you know maybe somebody's on Google searching for Juno Beach in Juno Beach Florida it might pop up because you're not just listing Juno Beach in a paragraph you're listing it as the head of a section okay we scroll down once again you can go to jupitergym.club find out more about it there now let me show you about determining whether or not your theme automatically puts the h1 tag around the title of a page or a post what I'm teaching you applies to WordPress blog posts and pages okay so what I'm gonna do and this is typical for most browsers I happen to be using a Windows system using the Google Chrome if you're using a different browser different system like Mac or whatever you can always Google it and find out you know show source code view source code in a browser like Chrome or Firefox or Safari so this is how easy it is right click I'm just gonna go to view page source other browsers say view source code something like that I'm gonna click on that opens up a new window I'm going this is all code and stuff like that it's obvious this is all code skip down there skip this skip this now once you see this you realize oh okay now we're now we're into the text the body of the text so you go to the top and you see how to have fun in South Florida in the h2 tags okay h2 so you know the h1 tag is above it or the title of the page is probably somewhere above it makes sense right so let's scroll up until we can find something that says h1 tag and there it is there's the h1 tag there's the closing h1 tag um, there's some other stuff in here that has to do with CSS and styling and what have you don't worry about that so there it is find fun and beaches in South Florida is automatically contained within an h1 tag and since you already have one h1 tag you don't want to add any more you can see these are the other h2 tags starting and closing and you get the h3 down here so that's all there is to it take care and have a great day